Hello, all my beautiful mystic friends. Welcome to your mystic affirmations for Wednesday, July 14th, 2021. Many blessings to you all. This is our collective beautiful energy to gather together here and bring on the positivity, relentlessly optimistic, beautiful manifestation, law of attraction energy to bring ourselves back to our highest frequency so that we can move forward in gaining the goals that we are trying to uh, achieve in this lifetime. And we do this together collectively because it's a much more powerful effort and you're working on your own individual level, but collectively as we do it, the intention is that when one rises, we all rise. So it does magnify the energy. If you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And if you're interested, I have this little thing called the Royal Mystic Fall Solstice Retreat for September the 18th, 2021 at Moody Gardens, Galveston, Texas. If you go to the website, all the information is there and the registration is now open and available to schedule. I'm so excited. I had to postpone this uh, last March that was for June of last year. So it's been a long time anticipated and very much uh, ready to receive the healing energy and move forward in our new open energy clearing and, and healing. That's what it's all about. It's a whole day of wonderful activities. So if you'd like to be part of it, I'll be glad to see you there. If you can't come in person, there is a Zoom link that you can be part of. So check it out. And we'll go right into this beautiful reading. Now remember, this is all sun, moon, and rising signs. Everyone's included for manifestation. All right, so we start off with the temperance and the hierophant, two big heavy hitting energies. These are both major arcanas. Temperance is the energy of balance and synchronicity. It is uh, seen as an archangel or a feminine person. When you look at the standard tarot, this is the energy of of the balance of it, but it also means Archangel Uriel, who is the keeper of divine light and divine synchronicity. That's her wheelhouse. So she's literally laying the groundwork for everything to come out perfectly, even if you can't see it behind the scenes. Now we have the Hierophant, which is the Taurus Major Arcana, but it's also the energy of being accepted and welcomed in. Sorry about that. I had a little double, double weirdness. <clears throat> The Hierophant is about a group organization that is very large and is can be a, a school, a university, uh, anything that you're trying to apply for, so a job or a loan. This is a yes energy, so we like that. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, Gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed reading. Thank you for your energy. So, the second cut card was also about balance because it's the Justice card, the Libra Major Arcana. It's all about that walking that fine line to get everything in sync. And so, it matched with that um, Temperance card very well. So, very solid affirmation in that. So, balance and making right decisions, moving forward. So, all three cut cards were Major Arcanas. Just have to point that out. We had the Hierophant. We had uh, Temperance, and we had the Justice card. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Now, this is an excellent get, uh, giveaway because this is a gift from the universe. This is the energy of being granted a solid financial new beginning. So, something being either restored to its previous wholeness being brought back around or something new totally but it is very solid and a very secure energy of a solid foundation financially so now we have ambition our top card i am ambitious and do not procrastinate or waste time being negative now this is one of those things wasting time being negative you don't have to be the one being negative. If you're wasting time listening to someone else be negative, it's just as big a waste. 
So if someone is, you, and I know you've heard it and have probably done it, I have been guilty of it as well. Let me just vent, or the first three words, let me just vent, maybe four. Um, <laughs> letting, you, letting you just vent means let me open up my can of garbage and air it out in your face. So be aware of not allowing yourself to participate in other people's garbage, right? Even if you're not doing it, you may have stopped yourself from doing that, but when you listen to someone else, it's still dumping the same garbage on you. So remember that and don't don't allow it. It's hard, so you have to learn how to gracefully exit because people get offended when you go, I don't want to hear your garbage, <laughs> All right? So do it with some finesse and just say, um, I know this is really important, but I'm sorry, I've got this one thing I have to do and excuse yourself. Try to get out of that energy and every time they do it, do it, get out of it. Um, they'll notice and and then when they confront you about it just say listen I'm trying this new thing in my life <laughs> where I try not to speak negatively and I'm just going to see what happens I'm, I'm trying to reduce the negativity so I, I'm just going to use myself as a, an experiment of one I actually had to do that when I first started and the person that looked at me like I'd eaten a bag of frogs but guess what that was the main person that was my most negative energy around me so I was happy for her not to talk to me. So here's the trust card. This is a beautiful energy of being in a place of allowing yourself to trust the universe and to trust your higher source. Trust your intuition. It is not wrong. It will not lie to you. People go, well, how do you know it's not just fear or your overreaction to something? How do you know it's your intuition? Well, when it's your intuition, it comes from a different place. Your intuition usually comes from your heart and you can feel it up high when it's your when it's your ego and your fear it comes from a lower energy like clo closer to the middle of your stomach so allow yourself to to take the moment and realize you've 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 grown enough years to understand when your body is reacting to something that's superficial or anxiety or when it's actually something that you need to listen to but you've got to trust it. I trust, or I set my intention, and I trust in my abilities to improve my circumstances. So this is about allowing yourself to not second guess yourself on every single thing and to trust that you have the ability to overcome and achieve anything. Once you give yourself that credit, you start to see how empowered it brings you, that energy of being, feeling secure. Remain positive. Gee, it's like we were just talking about this. Hmm, I wonder when. <laughs> Remain positive. Being in the energy of joy and happiness, and that's another thing. Being lighthearted and having a sense of humor. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, don't allow other people to rain on your parade when you're in that happy mood and they want to come and just poo all over everything. Um, that's... You just move your stuff, and they can poo, but it doesn't have to be on you, right? Oh, sorry. Oh, see, you might want to get something for that. <laughs> we have passion. The frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies the hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm. It assists us in finding the balance within this intensity, moving us from chaos to the calm of its core, where we can let this long-lasting wisdom fill us up. So, I know you have all had, and it's, it's not just passion. So the passion is when you get fired up about something and somebody really creams your corn. This is when you get into that mode of, you know what, let me, let me get into the logic here. And, and bring myself into a place of telling you off without cursing you out. Telling you through the heart chakra energy and getting in that still, small, powerful. Listen, the heart is one of the most powerful energies you have. And you can use it when you need to stand up for yourself. Because when you speak from your heart, it does a lot more than if you speak from your, from your anger. Okay? 
So using that heart energy, that calm, still energy, you don't have to be loving and, and sweet, but you don't have to make such a scene that it turns them away before you even get your point across. So being impassioned is a little different from being um, volatile, right? That's more aggressive. You can be passionate about something, but you don't have to be angry and aggressive. Because that'll that fear kicks in for people, and they completely lose what you're saying if they if they feel threatened. Because then they start reacting. So the ocean of life is lavish with its abundance. All of my needs and desires are met before I even ask. My good comes from everywhere and everyone and everything. Oops. There is plenty for everyone, including me. The ocean of life is lavish with its abundance. All of my needs and desires are met before I even ask. My good comes from everywhere and everyone and everything. There is plenty for everyone, including me. So, it's when we get into a place of feeling limited or lack, that's when we start getting into a place of panic and fear and reaction. So, allowing yourself to move through that energy without getting caught up in the um, fear is the big deal. So, I am totally open and receptive to a wonderful new position using my creative talents and abilities, working for and with people I love in a wonderful location and earning good money. Now this is the best manifesting energy you can get for a job right here. That's the perfect way. I now create a wonderful new job. I am totally open and receptive to a wonderful new position using my creative talents and skills sorry, abilities, skills and abilities, we'll go with that, creative talents and abilities, working for and with people I love in a wonderful location and earning good money. Absolutely receive that. I now create a wonderful new job. You notice it's not saying at XYZ company. It's saying the best job, period, wherever that is. And it'll put you in a place where you can get to it. Don't worry. It's not going to put it on the other side of the world for you. Unless that's where you want to go. Two of Swords. This is the energy of releasing your need to know every little detail. This is logic. And sometimes we get so hung up on needing to know that we, real, we kind of squash the miraculousness of something that has amazingly shown up in your life as a gift from Divine. Everything can't be explained. Miracles inherently aren't explainable. So just be open to receiving whatever you're supposed to have. And if you can't explain it, that's okay. We have the judgment card, which is something being re returned, something coming back around for another opportunity. Um, in the standard tarot, traditionally this is an a angel blowing a trumpet. And that would be Archangel Gabriel. And this is the energy of that coming back from the past to allow you now of this new opportunity. Now, it doesn't have to be a person or relationship. It can be an opportunity like a job or something, of, you know, some kind of internship or something that you were trying to get into that couldn't because of circumstances. Well, now it's back. It's back on the table. It's being resurrected, restored, and brought back for the new opportunity. So that's a wonderful thing. And then you have the Queen of Wands, and she is super powerful. This is the, I call her boss lady energy, because she's a, she does everything she needs to do and ha doesn't bat an eye. She's, she's very professional. She's smart. This is the energy of, it can, it can be, it doesn't have to be a she. I'm using she because I'm looking at a female form here. But this is masculine or, fe well, this is male or female, and it is the feminine Masculine feminine energy just mean in the feminine it's something new, blossoming, blooming, giving birth to something, a new idea, a new a new innovation, okay, a new inspiration. 
when it's the masculine, it's something that that new thing has now developed into its full aware self that is standing right in front of you or, or has appeared in, in your life now. So it is the manifestation come to pass. So feminine energy, new growth and new beginnings. Fabulous energy of this new growth and new beginnings financially. And whatever it is, is something that you maybe have been going for before and didn't realize it was going to come back around for this opportunity. So remain positive. Trust in your, your, in your abilities and receive your wonderful, hang on, your wonderful new job that you've just created. <laughs> so many blessings to you all and be, be very in your, in your, bring yourself in and, and drive through the heart. That's the way that you use the guidepost and the compass of life to allow yourself to move in the most harmonious energy as use your use your heart as your compass so many blessings to you my friends i'll see you tomorrow namaste